Hi, this is John Dreyer for Fender University. In this video, I want to take you through the steps of replacing a damaged or broken machine head. I've already removed the string, and now I'll be replacing the low E machine head on this American Standard Telecaster, which has a more modern style machine head. You'll need a nut driver or a wrench to loosen the ferrule. I'm going to go ahead and loosen it all the way until the machine head is free. I'm going to turn the guitar over. Now you'll notice there are two set pins which help you align the machine head to the correct position and the corresponding holes in the back of the headstock. So here I have a new set of Fender machine heads. I want the taller of the two sizes, which is right here, for my low E string and the matching ferrule. I'm going to flip the guitar over. Now simply thread the machine head through the headstock. I want to align the pins with the holes in the back of the headstock. Now replace the washer and the ferrule and tighten it down. And then we want to lock it down and then you're done. For vintage style guitar machine heads, you'll need to remove a couple small screws on the back of the machine head and this will free the machine head to be removed. So all you really need is one Phillips head screwdriver. So I've removed the string and I'm going to go ahead and remove the low E machine head. Flip the guitar over and there are my screws. I'm going to save my screws. Okay, and this should lift right out. And you'll notice the ferrule actually stays in. Again, you can choose to replace this if you want, but if it's in good condition, I would just go ahead and leave it in. Okay, so I have my new machine head. I'm going to go ahead and flip the guitar over and replace the machine head just like I took it out. So I'm going to line up the machine head through the hole and save my two screws here. That one back in. And this screw back in. And you're done. And for more information, please visit fender.com forward slash university. Thank you.